During this decade, the oil and gas industry has adapted to fluctuations in the oil price and this has brought with it tighter budgets and the need for flexibility from those providing services to the sector. Exploration company Shearwater Geoservices delivers advanced seismic data to oil companies and has continued to invest in new technology. Joanna Simpson went to see its 3D marine seismic data imaging products and data processing software in action. Gliding across the oceans, gently exploring what lies beneath. Vessels from Shearwater Geo Services are collecting data to provide a detailed 3D image of the rocks below the seabed. Shearwater uses cutting-edge seismic technology to create an image of the subsurface, which oil companies use to decide where to drill. It's a global firm with bases in Norway, the UK, the United States, Singapore and India. Its fleet of four purpose-built vessels are some of the best in the industry, able to deal with the most challenging conditions. They're called the largest moving objects on Earth, as the vessels, along with their streamers, can be 10 to 12 kilometres long and spread one and a half kilometres or more wide. Off the back of each vessel, a large air bubble is created which propels sound waves into the Earth. The sound which bounces back is recorded by long streamers trailing off the back of the ship. This data is then analysed to assess the most likely area for oil. What is it about the technology that you use that makes it so attractive to your clients? It's this reduction in risk. It's, it's, an, it's a non-invasive technique. We're just sending sound waves into the earth and listening to the echoes, passively listening to the echoes uh, that come back. And it, it gives them a quite a detailed image of the rocks and the structures below the sea surface. And then they can um, decide exactly where to drill, reduce their drilling costs, reduce the number of dry wells, uh, that obviously lowers their costs and their risks. Shearwater prioritises safety and offers its clients a comprehensive range of services, including the option to licence its software. There are four central strands, marine acquisition, processing and imaging, open CPS software and multi-client. Shearwater's chief executive says these work independently, but more importantly, also together. One of our major benefits is that we are a cost leader uh, in the services that we are providing. And that combined with uh, the high-end vessels and the technology and capabilities in there, as well as the processing capabilities, as well as the software. We are a company that is agile and able to offer flexible solutions to our customers, able to sort of adapt our business models to what the, the customers want. So on the processing and imaging, we're also very flexible and we like to think we're nimble. And the reason we do that is that um, we don't want uh, to be a company that has large centers in every country. We, we move in and set up a centre with high quality staff very quickly and uh, carry out the project for the client and then we move out again at the end of the project. This allows us to offer a high quality, low cost solution to, to all our clients wherever they are in the world. So this talk is about two methods to estimate a sea surface profile. Shearwater says it attracts top people for each role, which gives it an edge over its competitors. The company is committed to developing every employee through training, such as lunch and learn sessions. It's also keen to bring on board the brightest new talent. I find it genuinely interesting. There's a lot of opportunity to travel um, with the job. We have offices all around the world. You can go offshore and work on our boats. There's good career development. You're working with managers, you're interacting with clients, which is nice. Shearwater prides itself on being a financially secure seismic exploration company. Despite this, it says it's one of the most cost-effective for its clients. Where other companies leak cash through rough waters, Shearwater says it will continue to ride the wave and continue to adapt, regardless of what the industry may go through in the future.